Oh my gosh, babe, come here. Right. Yes. This is, okay, look. Yesterday I weighed myself, it was 135. That's a big drop. That's so crazy, that's one day. <laughs> one day. That's I thought like maybe I'd lose a pound. How'd you do this? <laughs> it's just the shape up, like literally one day. That's crazy. <laughs> well. 13 more to go. <laughs> Morning girls, can we take a minute for this messy bun situation? I feel like for 7.30 in the morning, it is very glamorous looking. It's my normal messy bun, but I curled the front and it got like this extra curl and I just feel like, I don't know. When you look good, you feel good and I'm feeling good today. But I'm so excited to start the 14 day shape up with you guys. If you're doing the summer shape up challenge with me that starts on the 8th, you know this is the plan we follow for the first two weeks and every time I do this one, I lose like five plus pounds. It's crazy guys and part of it's fat, part of its water weight. But even though I normally eat really, really healthy, my nutrition's pretty on point, I follow the hot body meal plan, like in summer especially, I'm drinking more, I'm eating out more, travel, extra salts, all the things that kind of add up and just end up making me feel a little blah. So when I developed this meal plan, it was exactly for that, like to help us all have all the foods and drinks and things that we need to help de-bloat, remove that excess water weight and actually shed pounds too so that we can feel good during summer because this is the time we want to feel our best but it's like this balance of enjoying yourself and then not wanting to like overdo it where you're like all the time right so i love this plan because it has all of those foods that are going to help you feel your best but also a 14 day meal plan that's so easy to follow so delicious so i want to take you through the day show you everything i eat in a day following the plan so you know exactly what to expect if you're going to do it with me or if you're looking for something to really get you results quick this summer in a healthy way this is going to be perfect for you i said i want to weigh myself today and just see what like one day even because one of the biggest things with this is helping getting rid of that bloat and water weight so even in a day you couldn't notice a big difference i've never weighed it day to day i haven't even weighed myself in a really long time so Let's do it. One thirty-five point one, which apparently is two pounds less than the last time I weighed myself, which was months ago. So cool. But yeah, we'll see tomorrow morning what I weigh in at. I think like obviously you know you're not gonna lose fat overnight, but knowing that you can lose like a decent amount of bloating and water weight is really cool. So I don't wanna speak too soon. We'll see what tomorrow looks like, but I just figured we should get it in first thing this morning before I eat and like start adding everything to my body. So we'll see. I always start my day with three drinks in a very specific order. I know that kind of sounds like a lot, but honestly it has been the game changer, difference maker in how I feel all day. It is like what allows my body to work for me, gets my metabolism going, my energy up. So I'm going to show you exactly what those are and how I drink them. But first, if you haven't already joined the challenge, I'll put the link down below to get more information and join. It is so much fun. Like this is the one I get so excited about every single year because just there's feeling in summer that's extra special, but it's six weeks of at-home workouts you can literally do them anywhere they're only about 30 minutes and all you need is like a pair of dumbbells at most sometimes it's just body weight workouts i have new videos every single week in there for you to follow along with and you guys there are thousands of women that have already signed up for this to like support you and cheer you on so if you need that accountability if you're looking for a community and for people to connect with to do this program with like it is gonna be absolutely amazing and so much fun. Plus I have weekly giveaways and huge grand prizes. I'm giving you a one day bikini body detox meal plan, like a full meal plan for free when you join. And I'm gonna be there with you every step of the way. We're doing live workouts together, live recipes. Like I can't even tell you, like there's so much coming this summer. It's going to be absolutely insane. So hit the link down below to check it out and to join the challenge. And when you do, I want you to comment, I'm in. For this week's weekly subscriber giveaway, I'm going to be giving one of you that comments, I'm in, an extra bonus prize that is going to help you with your workouts, help you be able to really stick to this entire six weeks and crush your goals this summer. So make sure you comment, I'm in, like this video, and let me show you those drinks. So the first drink in the meal plan every morning is LSF tonic, which is warm water, apple cider vinegar, and then some wing woman, which is a berry pomegranate immunity boost that has like all your vitamins. And not only are they great vitamins just for your body, but also vitamin D is incredible for your hair. So if you are like looking for a little extra boost there, 
it's a great one. But I added it because it just adds sweetness and flavor. Apple cider vinegar and water by itself is rough. I've gotten used to it, so I drink it that way most days. You can add more water to make it easier, but like this is the best way because it just makes it like a yummy apple cider, like berry drink versus vinegar water, which is how it normally tastes. So here's the thing with apple cider vinegar. One, you need to make sure it says the mother. So this is the one I have with the mother. See that? But I use it to cook with, I use it for so many different things. The mother though is what you need in there to make sure it has all those live like probiotics and enzymes and everything that you want in apple cider vinegar that give us like the benefits. And there's a lot of like mixed like, oh, it helps with weight loss, it doesn't, blah, blah, blah. Here's what it helps with for me. A lot of you girls know I have hypothyroidism and one of the chronic symptoms that no matter what I've done has always kind of stuck around. Most of them have all gone away at this point. It's constipation. I know it's not lovely, but drinking this in the morning, it really helps so much. It gets everything going and like kind of getting your system like awake and it does help with like more energy and just metabolism, everything. I personally feel it. I notice the difference. It helps with bloating. So drink it again. You can dilute it down as much as you want. Cause it can be a little rough. Like if you're just doing the apple cider vinegar and water, so add a bunch of water, you're still going to get great benefits, but warm water is really the key. The second thing I drink right after the apple cider vinegar is celery juice. So I just got back into juicing again and making it myself. You can totally buy it at the store. There's like Suja and other brands that have it. You just want to make sure that it's just like celery and lemon, or you can get ones that have like celery, lemon, parsley, ginger. You just don't want it to have any added sugar. Like we don't want to be putting sugar in our body first thing in the morning. The most important thing is to make sure we're being strategic about what we're putting into our body before we put food, before we put coffee, all of that. Like we gotta be fueling our body, nourishing it, flushing it with all the good stuff. Celery juice has been such a difference maker in my life. Again, when we talk about constipation, helps with that, it helps with hydration and skin and really just kind of helping flush toxins out of the body. I just feel better. I've been doing this for years now. People always ask like, do you have to drink them in a row? Yes, in this order. <laughs> you can take a little break in between, drink some water. I know it's a lot of liquid, but like I'm telling you, it makes a difference. Number three is protein. And if you guys have been here a while, you know, I used to go straight basically to coffee first thing in the morning and do like collagen in it or whatever. And that has changed so much. And part of that was because I used to do intermittent fasting, which I stopped because all the new research is really showing that it's not great for women in our age group that are like childbearing. Basically, if you still have your period, it's not really great for you. So um, I stopped doing intermittent fasting and I started adding protein in first thing in the morning, usually within like 30 minutes of waking up is best. And this has been such a huge change in my routine, but also it's made a huge change in my body. Like I have never been leaner. I feel like I have so much more energy and it just sets my body up better for the day because protein is gonna help you feel full, which is, a great thing. It also is something that your body's not going to store as fat as quickly as it would like carbs or fats themselves. So it's hard to like overdo it with protein because most of us don't get enough to begin with. So doing it first thing in the morning, not only lets me make sure I'm setting myself up to hit my protein goals for the day, but also really like allow my body to start to get to work, my metabolism working, my energies and help balance blood sugar levels and everything. So I just feel good first thing. Also, if you haven't tried my my protein you guys need to try it if you have digestive issues if you have ever tried proteins and you're like mm, they're chalky they don't really mix well or your stomach gets like really like gassy and bloated I completely feel you like we worked for like over two years to develop these to like make sure that they were clean to make sure they tasted good they mix well and for me as a hypo girl that like my stomach was good on them and I don't ever get bloated at all it's the only protein that doesn't bloat me so if you haven't tried it definitely do I like to wait like at least an hour before I have my coffee and honestly like part of the whole like 
don't drink coffee on an empty stomach thing yes it can impact cortisol levels there's a lot of that but more than anything like you just don't want to pour acidic coffee into your empty stomach without having anything in there so getting that protein in first is going to help line your stomach as well and make it easier on your body when you do have your coffee so while i wait i'm going to make my chia pudding for the morning it's mango coconut chia pudding which is so good but i realized i don't have mangoes but i do have papaya which is another fruit that is so amazing for digestion and helping you deep bloat so we're gonna whip that up real fast This deep bloat coffee tastes so yummy. I used half-calf coffee. Technically, you're supposed to have no caffeine, but I really just wanted a little bit today. But it's using dandelion root powder, which I've talked about before. Dandelion is so good at extracting excess water from the body. So it helps like flush out toxins. And again, it's gonna help reduce any bloating that you have and like puffiness. So I do that with the cinnamon, which also improves circulation and does the same thing. And then you got Miss Congeniality that's gonna help balance out your hormones, keep everything nice and even. So you'll feel really good and happy too. That little combo, not only is like a great alternative for coffee, but it also just is gonna get you like good results quickly. The hair started the morning really cute and it's starting to get a little floppy. <laughs> um, it's kind of funny since I'm actually like eating papaya right now and you'll see it in this plan a lot, but I don't really love papaya. Like I don't think it tastes like much. It kind of has like a funky bland taste, which makes it good for smoothies and things because you don't really taste it, but it is so good for digestion. Like they sell like enzymes that are just like the papain from papaya to help break down foods, help you digest. Like if you have bloating issues, papaya is amazing. If constipation while you're traveling, eat papaya. It helps so much. So I love it for that. It like, you can't beat it. There's certain things you just should eat because they're just really good for you. And this is one of them. It does actually taste really good in this chia pudding though. It's a little past noon. I'm gonna do my workout probably in the next hour, but first I'm gonna make my sunrise smoothie. This one gives me so much energy because it has like pineapple and really good like sugars from the fruit. So I love doing this one pre-workout. And then I have my sunset bowl for like my lunch, which I'll probably eat at like two or so. I typically eat dinner late. Like we're at like eight or 8.30 lately just because of our schedule. So my schedule shifted a little bit later than maybe most, but you eat all the same meals, whatever time works for you. I'm gonna show you how I make this smoothie because it is one that you are going to want to add into your rotation. You know, I was talking about like what you drink and how that impacts your weight so much too. Not only weight, obviously, because calories and drinks can like add up so fast, but if you're trying to be less bloated, one of the biggest things you can do to like help reduce bloating is cut carbonated drinks. If you drink carbonated, like whether it's soda or even just sparkling water, the carbonation itself can cause a lot of bloating. So if you're trying to like de-bloat, de-puff before like an event or any, or just because you don't want to feel bloated, cutting those out can really help too.
one is so freaking good and i feel like avocado is underrated for smoothies like it feels weird to put it in there but it's such a good healthy fat it has so many great vitamins and minerals and it also just makes it like smooth and creamy different than a nut butter would so if you haven't tried adding a little avocado make this one and try it one thing you'll notice about following this meal plan too is there's a decent amount of fiber but it's not too much because you need fiber to help keep your digestive system going and to really help like flush everything out and keep things moving but if you have too much it's going to totally constipate you and make you more bloated so it's a delicate balance of finding like the right amount and this is like the perfect one you find it in the flax and other ingredients that we add like the fruits and veggies to really help you be able to like get the results and have the right amount of fiber so you don't end up feeling worse, which is what happens a lot of the time when people are like, I gotta get fiber. It's not pretty. Okay, I just realized I don't have everything I need for my sunset bowl, so I'm gonna run to the store, grab a couple of ingredients, kind of let the smoothie digest, and then do my workout when I get back. All right, I got a couple things, and here's what I wanna tell you guys. If you, are short on time and you want to eat healthy it is perfectly acceptable to just buy ready-made food even if you're following the meal plan like that's how i want it to be i want it to be easy and convenient so if you're traveling you're at home you're at work and you're like how am i gonna do this i just bought can i pick it up with my hands <laughs> i just bought cooked chicken breast easy ready to go that i'm gonna use for my salad but right now i'm gonna go get my workout in and then i'll show you guys how i make the sunset bowl because it's so yummy I'm gonna make my lunch, but first a little protein per post workout. I always do a scoop of protein after workout. Even if I'm gonna eat lunch, like I just, again, I wanna be getting like 130 to 150 grams of protein a day. So this is the best way to do it without having to just eat a ton, a ton, especially when I'm doing this meal plan. Cause there's plenty of protein, but to like hit my high goal I'm trying to go, I just wanna add it in. Sorry if you can't see this beautiful blending that's happening. <laughs> this thing like makes it so freaking easy. This is the smooth operator. It makes it so easy to mix in like two seconds. Okay, what do I need? Rice. Chicken. The salad's so good. Lemon. Tell me another meal plan you've done that is like intended to help you lose weight that includes goat cheese and prosciutto. You're welcome. How cute are these little apples? They are from my parents' tree. They're so tiny and perfect for this. All right. I meal prepped a ton of rice. I'm just gonna do like a half a cup and warm it up. This is one of those salads that I always forget about. I honestly haven't made it since last summer shape up, but whenever I do, I'm like, oh, it's so good. And I need to make it more often. So first bite. It's freaking delicious. Luke and I just got done swimming. We spent like the whole afternoon swimming, which is so fun. So we're gonna do his little night routine. Then I'm gonna make dinner and it's kebabs tonight. So I'm trying to kind of figure out if I wanna do like chicken kebabs or if I wanna make a bowl cause there's these amazing like shape up bowls you can make in the meal plan too. I might see what Ryan's feeling. And that's why I love it. Like I just love that I know I can switch any of the foods out kind of depending on what ingredients I have and what I'm feeling like. 
it just keeps it simple. Okay, the hardest part of following any meal plan is when your partner isn't doing it. And he would, but like Ryan needs way more calories. He's just doing his thing. So he said he wanted burgers for dinner. And I was like, um, <laughs> but we're gonna make it work. And that's the beauty of it is honestly, like I can make a burger work in the 14 day shape of meal plan and be totally good to go. So we're gonna make burgers and I'll show you guys how I'm making it shape up friendly. So I'm still sticking to the meal plan, but different. Okay, we're gonna call this my shape up burger bowl. We improvise, make it work. I have the sauerkraut that's really good for gut health and digestion, sweet potatoes, amazing source of fiber, the grass fed beef, lots of greens, some potato and then potato, tomato, and then a little sauce, yogurt sauce that I make. So nice and clean, healthy, and it works. And Ryan's gonna have a beautiful burger on a bun with his fries. I'm gonna start doing my whole night routine, but it's crazy, like it's been a year since I've like followed this meal plan and I feel so freaking good. I feel full, satisfied, like even though it's really like a weight loss and deep bloating plan, you guys saw it, there's a lot of food. So I'm gonna weigh myself in the morning, see just kind of what happened in one night. And again, this is 14 day plan, but like, I feel like there's gonna be a difference even just in one night from just switching those little things in my diet. All right, so I'm gonna do my weigh-in. I normally would never weigh myself every single day. The only reason I'm doing this is just to show you guys what's possible in one day of eating the right foods that really help flush out excess water, de-bloat your body so you can feel good. I'm guessing I probably lost like a pound maybe. I feel lighter today, I feel less bloated, which is the goal, and that's only one day. This is a 14 day plan. So if you are doing a meal plan, if you're gonna follow this one, definitely weigh yourself at the beginning and then at the end to give yourself an idea of what's changed. But there's something you wanna keep in mind. You gotta make sure that you're doing it under the same circumstances. So like first thing in the morning, before you've eaten anything and do that both times. And then realize that changes are gonna include things like fat loss, water weight, muscle gain. So you kinda have to take it with a grain of salt, but you wanna see just like general trends in how your body's changing. So like normally I'd recommend maybe once a month at most if you're gonna be weighing yourself. Okay, what? Are you kidding me? Do you see this? What? That's insane. That's <laughs> so crazy. It's only one day. And it was 35.5 yesterday and it's 32 pounds today. So one, this is why I say don't weigh yourself every day because it's wild what can happen and you're like, I'm up, I'm down, whatever. But like, that's like three and a half pounds of just stuff, mostly probably excess water, but like that excess water makes you feel heavier and more bloated and uncomfortable in your clothes. So if you can lose excess water weight like that, that's incredible. I honestly thought it was gonna be like a pound. That's so crazy. So in the 14 days, you're probably gonna see like five to 10 pounds, maybe depending on where you're starting from. And that'll be a combination of fat loss and that excess water. I'm so freaking excited to start the challenge with you on the 8th, you guys. It's gonna be amazing. We're gonna have so much fun. All you need to do again is hit the link down below to join. I'll send you that free one day detox meal plan as well as everything you need to know to get started for the challenge with me and all of Team LSF. It's gonna be incredible. I love you all so much. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.